How's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today I want to show you how to play three cool easy drop D riffs. So uh, be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look at these. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tune your, uh, your low E down to a D. So a really easy way to do this is just play your is just play your open E and your open D together, so the 6th and the 4th string together, and then tune the 6th string down until they're unison. And that puts you in drop D. Alright, so the first one we're going to look at is Everlong by uh, Foo Fighters. So for this one, we're going to come up here to the ninth fret of the A string with your first finger, and then we're going to put our third finger onto the eleventh fret of the fourth string, the D string and the G string together. So, yeah. so the the technique on this one is kind of is, is sort of tricky. You want to you want to hold that chord, and then you're gonna you're gonna pedal the open the open sixth string. When as soon as I as soon as I hit that power chord, I release the pressure with my fingers. So I'm not like taking them off. I'm just I'm still got my fingers on the strings. I'm just not fretting it anymore. So it puts a nice stop to it. So when I'm hitting that chord, I'm only playing the, the A and the D string. And then at the end, we pick up that uh, the 11th fret of the G string too. So you like two opens. So two opens. The chord, one open, two chords. Okay, and then after that, we just take your first finger and we just move it down so we're also barring, uh, we're also picking up the, uh, the ninth fret of the low E too. So it's the same strum. Then we just move that chord shape just like this down. So we're now we're barring the the E and the A string at the fifth fret, and I'm getting the uh, the seventh fret of the D and the G string. So we come down to there, and then back up to the ninth. And then it just starts over again. So. And then it just starts over. So the next one we want to look at is Damn That River by Alice in Chains. So this one's fairly simple to play too. Uh, it's a really cool riff, one of my favorite drop D riffs. So we're going to start off and we're only going to be playing just the uh, low E and the A string. So we start off, we're here at the third fret, and we're going to go three, four, five, and then open. Five, six, seven, and then six, five, so you know, back down. So three, four, five, open, five, six, seven, six, five, three. See. Yeah, and then back. 
back down to the third fret. So three, four, five, go three, five, six, seven, six, five, three, go three, three, five, seven, open, five, seven, eight, seven, five, and then back to the three for the stop. So it's like. And then you put a little rest right there before it starts over. So you got. All right. So. The last one we're going to look at is uh, Heart Shaped Box uh, by Nirvana. Now, um, I'm not a real big Nirvana fan, but I really like this riff. I think this is really a, a really cool riff. And it's uh, fairly easy to play. So we're going to start off by barring our first finger at the 7th fret across the E, A, and D string. And then we just pick the string 6, 5, 4, 5. So we do that here at 7, then we move down to the 3rd fret and do the same picking. And then we play just the strings open. So it's 6, 5, 4, 5, 5, 4, 5. Or actually that's wrong. 6, 5, 4, 5. Look on the tabs. I'm I'm doing this from memory, so that I I could be uh, I could have a couple of those mixed up, and I don't have the t I don't have the transcription that I made for it right here. But uh, yeah, because it's fairly simple. Okay, so the next part of it, we start off with the. finger and put it on the fourth thread of the D string. And we hit that twice, hit the open A string, back to that again, and now we drop our first finger onto the third fret of the A string. So it's got that diminished fifth. So it's it's like really kind of uh, kind of a dark dissonant kind of sounding riff, but I, I just think it sounds really cool. So enjoyed that and you got something out of it. If you like the lesson, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if there's something you'd like to see covered in a future lesson, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Anyhow, that is all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.